Hello, all you fan freaking tastic people. It's your boy, MB Set, coming back with Final Fantasy 16. And last time we unlocked side quests and a way for us to teleport to where side quests are. So I think mean, I want to start with doing them side quests, yo. I think we speak to Goat. All right. Cause he's the Goat. View Alliance report. Here you go. Yes, please. So we got what two? We got three. Both of these are at last. Okay, let's go back to Lost Swing then. Oh, travel! Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. Well then. Oh, look. Ali. Oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? Maybe. It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Okie dokie. They must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? Sure! Wait, is the reward zero? Do me. Come on, really? Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. It all looks so good. I will prior to memorize the quest. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Bearers definitely has it rough. But how did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing up to the vineyard? Can I have another cup, Daddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. What? I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. What Take difference? Take all the bread and wine you want. What difference does it make? It takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands. As do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. My question is, if we were paying for this, would it really matter? Would it? Bread and wine. <laughs> Hopefully this will be enough. <laughs> we're starving. Here, become alcoholics. Don't tell me. Turn him for supper. Brother, did you see? See what? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. I don't know why it makes me choose it. Just autom Just come on, just do the quest. Maybe. Truly. Don't make me take it back! <clears throat> Ooh, that's um. That sounded more like toast than bread. <laughs> Such plenty. 
Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. <clears throat> so, at first, these kind of quests, I was like, oh, these sounds like it's kind of boring. It's just talking and we're getting people stuff. But I'm starting to appreciate a bit that these side quests is giving us more what happens to us next? like feelings and realization of this world and just how I'm starting to appreciate them a bit more am I going the right way oh, perhaps hello hello oh, yo Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Hey, Emil! It's all French names. What's up with this? Just... I, I, I want no trouble. I'm friends with Bernard. We're cool. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His <laughs> vineyard... Lost Wing's pride and joy has been beset by a plague <coughs> of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Sure! Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. Remember, one of your books, popular DJ. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Alrighty, Emil, I'm gonna go get. Oh, yeah, hey, Jill. It's, it's okay. Now it's getting pretty bad that it's become recurring that I keep forgetting we have Jill as a companion right now. What's up, Torgal? Like, is she right there? She is! Like... Say something! How did the grocer know his daughter had been stealing up to the vineyard to see the lad? Don't tell me. Turn it. Can't, I can't go upstairs. Well, we're running towards wasps. We're gonna exterminate some rad wasps in Orbel Downs. Uh -huh. Gotta run to the vineyard. Gotta run fast. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Hopefully not. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> Die, wasps! Get over here! Oh! Faces, yo. I guess I should have done this right from the start. Yeah, I should have done that from the start. Right on, right on. Very nice. Uh, yes, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man know. Wait, can I not just like 
teleport? Uh, where's the... How do I go to... Oh, oh right there. Uh, Clive, and here. Probably a bit quicker if I do it this way, right? I'm gonna assume so. <clears throat> I wish it was a sprint button. The grocer, now his daughter had been stealing off to the vineyard to see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm coming. You better watch out, it's the rogue again. Mm-hmm. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Thank you! Our Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bye, Emil. <clears throat> oh, hello, Jill. It's actually quite early here today. While I'm recording this, I, th I feel like I need more caffeine. All right, where am I going? I don't know. All right, let's go over here. Martha, I'm coming back for you, baby. Done for. Wait, what? Why? Why? I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. If it's for Martha, yes! With what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. Okay. Yes! Right. I'll see to your problem. Jeez. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. At least one? They looked a nasty bunch though. Be careful in there, right? Wow, the cat's away. Hmm. Pray to Mariah's quest! But, uh, uh, ah! Ah, fences, my weakness. Ha! Golden stables, my eye. Oh, there's two. Martha's hiding back here. There's coppers. Wait, is there only two of them? You're, you mean in the blink of an eye you did not realize there's two of them? Oh, you couldn't count that? That's a really? Fine sword, friend. Heavy though, I expect. What say we relieve you on it? What an idiot. Get him, lads. I want that blade. Let's get this over with. Oh. Um, I'm sorry if I destroyed the bar at the same time, right? I'm sorry about the bar and the fire and everything. Please don't tell Martha. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. Martha! Yes, the hero of the Golden Stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. Fast travel! No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, 
Merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to him. I see. Then you do Rosario a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. I am a man of uh, many skills. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Don't ask what right. That. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. <laughs> you best be going before I arm you with a mop. I'd rather help you other ways, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers! It's okay, Jill. You can still join us. Wait. Where? Where's the middle of the hour? Where is he? You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. Oh, well, let's have a drink to that. Oh, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the vice -reen. <laughs> If we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and... Uh, take care of yourself. What he meant to say, if, if some fucking asshole didn't transform into Efrate and start murdering everyone... <laughs> Maybe the Russell will still be around. Right? Alright, we did the side quests. Let's go back to the main quest. That would be nice. A drink. Mmm! Some sweet, sweet cola. Mmm! I like the zero sugar. Cola, um, like pops and stuff. Yes, I say pop. Okay? <clears throat> and, uh, and, and, but it is a, a, a cola, so, you know. I prefer the zero sugar stuff. <sighs> I find that the sh just regular is just too sugary. I will drink it if that's the only choice I have, but I would prefer buying, you know, diet. This is like, you know, Pepsi Zero, Coke Zero, whatever, stuff like that. My favorite cola, though. Hmm. That's a really, really tough choice. If I had something that I could just drink all the time. Hmm. Usually that's what I go for. It's just like Diet Cola or Zero, you know, like Pepsi or whatever. And I really like root beer too. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, well, oh well. Gav. Someone's in a hurry. Hmm. Heard to see just you, Gav. Notice. Funny. I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief, wouldn't you say? Was that a bit of flirting? Is this all of us? Oh, shit. Actually, Gav won't be coming. Ha! <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> that, that face! Fuck! Can't spend time with Clive. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes, but that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominant. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And, did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own, if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two be out now. Don't worry, they're not doing sexy stuff. 
We learned. Poor Gav. No, I'm gonna put this something easier to drink out of. There you go. Much, much better. Where are we going? I was just at Lost Wing. Come on. Oh. Ba with the ba. The bang bang diggity. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Are we there yet? I said, are we there yet? Wait, wait, what? Oh, I was doing like a slow turn to then run up to Jill's face and be like, Are we there yet? The gross, and now, and now gone she's gone? Oh, it's a good thing I got you, Torgo. Man's best friend. Mm hmm. Who's, who's a good boy? Who's a good. Torgo, pick up the paste! I want to pet you. Get it, boy. Oh, nice. Oh, he got treat. Oh, oh. Mm. So, her name is Sandy. I think I mentioned that already. Guess where the name Sandy comes from? Three years ago. That's when I got her. My daughter was six, and I is let my daughter choose her name. Actually, my she chose everybody's name except one of the cats, and she chose Sandy because at that point we were heavily watching SpongeBob, and she really liked Sandy Cheeks from SpongeBob, and so she called the dog Sandy. Yep. Hey up! Ah! 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 Get wrecked! I don't like spiders. Where, 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 where are you going? Hit them. Torgo's got it, right? Maybe I should go and actually practice. I did practice a bit, by the way. I'm trying to learn how to, um... Oh. What is that? Seems like Big Boy. I want to fight Big Boy! This way. Oh. I, re I, I, I wrecked that one. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh! Why do I suck so much? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 Now that I got a whole bunch of moves. Yeah, this is. This is very fun. This is very. Man, he's tough! Holy freak! What is this monster? <laughs> oh, this is... seem to be doing that much damage though ah fuck I messed up that ah I messed it up again This is almost like a friggin' mini boss. What the hell is happening here? Jeez. Ooh, but there's a treasure box there. Oh! <laughs> 
What was that? What is that? Is that a is that gear? Is that a gear? No. What was it? Griff's Griff's Ooh, what is this? Increases burning blade damage by 7%. What is burning blade? What is burning blade? Burning blade. Uh let's go check abilities. Is it the the one where I charge? Charge magic? Magic burst? No. Stomp. Magic aerial attacks. Down through us. Burning blade. Oh, I rarely use that though. But I assume it's a strong attack. You know what? Let's try. You know what? Let's try different things, right? Increases healing put, put into a potion. You know what? Now that I have the limit break, right? And I heal, I probably don't need that. Let's try it. Let, let's see if this is good, right? I assume that the color coding is the same as usual. So green, so blues would be better. Because what else do I have? I use. I don't use any of these right now, right? I don't. Look at wheel, Rook Gambit. No, I use Gouge though. Yeah, okay, let's, let's let's try this. And let's try to use that. And I notice a lot that I don't use those moves too often. You know, like the one where you hold a square or you hold a triangle and you get like a burst attack or like you use fire instead of fire and I'm not watching where I'm going. And now I can't really say fire anymore, it's just fire because of, I have arrow. And the era. I thought it was gonna be some more chocobos we needed to fight. Wait, what? What's happening here? Get over here! I think this move makes more damage if I'm higher. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this. Murderize the faces. Seems pretty good. This is the same path that I took last. Oh yeah, that's this no the uh, the Carabiers castle. Is it? Is it? I don't remember. All right, so the soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I had the dame as friends in the south. I'm just appreciating the view. I'm really enjoying this game. Oh, there's a merchant there. Ooh, nice. North Reach Obelisk unlocked or whatever. Hello, merchant. And what can I do for you? Oh, you know, all this stuff. Um, I just realized we were at the hideaway and I did not even check to see I'll if... I'll be here if you need me. Yeah, I didn't check to see if I even could upgrade, like reinforce armor or buy better armor or, or gear and stuff. So, ooh. Well, hello there. You have a pretty dress. Dress, 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 dress! A 
moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. Oh, my mistake. I have at least 10 gil, right? No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Ooh. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me? Clive? No, he's he has no experience. You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Ooh, clientele. You. Mm. And call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? Yes, but not in bed! You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. Where? What is here? To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. Mother. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Very, unless... uh, peculiar choice of word there. <laughs> unmolested. Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. Is she the but... dominant he was looking for? I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Let me waltz on there with my, um, you know, well, Rossfield's um, armor, you know, outfit. Better not. Mother's not gonna see that. Mile coming. No, no, she's too dumb. You're a dumb bitch. What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Boy, hold up. She was trying to eat this. Bad doggy. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Fuck you! Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Oh. Uh, you're gonna be the first one to get tortured, I think. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement. As do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me. I'm very curious. How we many... can speak more at the Vale. How many dicks did she suck? Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. <clears throat> no, don't worry, yours fine. 
You're not much one to take action. Anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Looks nice. Man, you gotta appreciate like old school. <laughs> I say old school. <laughs> like yeah, like if, if I'm talking about 40, 40, 50 years ago. <clears throat> I mean more like medieval-ish like buildings and stuff, and you know. There's a certain je ne sais quoi to it, right? It's, um... Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about it. It's just... It's just nice. That's why I like the buildings Thank and stuff like... Thank you for like seeing me through the gates, Skyrim. my lady. Stuff like that, right? I am in your debt. Well, Love that was it. the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, Other. I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. Isabel, you uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Oh. Yes. Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now. Tatien. Having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Now I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh. <clears throat> and take this. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. The Dame. La Dame! I should probably start here. Yeah! I, I want to go in. I want to go see what people do in there. What's up, bro? If the dame has given you her trust, then you have ours as well. No, you are always welcome here at the Vale. Bullshit! The doors won't open! You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. Tatienne. She's still missing then. Yes. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared. The day before. She was in tears. She fell in love. She'd lost her comb. A gift from oh. the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. I was wrong. <laughs> you see, Tatienne was an orphan. And she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. Oh. So she was upset. Mm. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatienne shared a room. Her chambermate may have <clears> seen <throat> something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermaid can tell us then. That is a lot of side quests. Excuse me. You there? Yes. The gentleman with the sword? Yes. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the dames? Perhaps! Might I trouble you for some assistance? You'll be rewarded, of course. Well, thank you. And who exactly would I be assisting? Exactly. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne, a humble merchant. Etienne. Though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but 
The guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Um, <clears throat> why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Marvelous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. There are three in total. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... Fresh from the master's table. Doesn't sound suspicious. Nothing dangerous, I hope. Yeah. Why, of course not. Uh, merely trifles, which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. Yeah! <clears throat> Very seems very seems legit. Mm hmm. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. Sounds like the start of a bad joke. <laughs> I mean, I bet we're the soldiers train, right? That's cool. Sergeant's got it in for us too. As if either of Don't look at my outfit too closely. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. <clears throat> the infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. Sure. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. How about it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? Sure. I'd rather not. No, no, no! Oh, no the, doubt. the answer Only is yes. Chivalrous souls <clears throat> that we are. Robin and I need to know the Dame's being. Properly looked after. Fine. Time to brutally murderize some Fine. people. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. No, I don't. I want you whining about an unfair fight. Nah, we're good. We're, um. <clears throat> we're good. Let's just get into it. Yes. Uh, I want to wipe that smirk off his face, so you know. Now, let's if go. That's what you want. Let's go. <clears throat> <laughs> cocky bastard. I think yeah, he's All a cocky right. one. Let's be having you. All right, so um, let's um, yeah. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress. Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Sure. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather what not. What are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Please. Let's <laughs> <laughs> some fun, shall we? Let's do it. Let a beer up. Win the dance, face one night. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. <laughs> 
Bested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. Nope. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dames in safe hands, I suppose. <coughs> if you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? Sure. Sure! Yeah! Alright, well, um, good luck with everything. I heard the bones fell favorably to the veil then. Hey! Oh! I, I don't know how a bear has the, by the best moon name stars, of ever. But thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the dame of the veil in her endeavors as unlikely as it may seem there are those within the upper echelons of sambraquois society who find the empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric all right but what do you want from me this town is carried upon the backs of its bearers and yet many would see their servants starve not for the want of coin Simple fare costs little more than a pittance. Mm. But to revel in the suffering of others, a simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. Mm. Which brings me to my request. The brand upon your cheek afford you a certain freedom a freedom I could sorely use mm. but what do you need me to do fine his what name is Mathieu I gotta help him right oh, thank you an extra meal may not seem like much but it will make all the difference here deliver these but keep them hidden quickly now did I did I just realize something? What food I can provide goes where the need is greatest. And today that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Be discreet for both our sakes, and for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then. I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Bye, Mathieu! Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Like, like what they've given the, the moon and sun or the moon and stars or what the, uh, the hell it is, right? If I, if I do this, can I see it? No, I can't. Like, where does it go? Does it expand the tattoo that's on my face? Like, where do they see that? Oh, you wear the brand of blah, 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 blah. And there's like three of them. Is that where it is? I can't really see here. Must be the angle or, or the face. Or the, I, I have no idea. I heard the bones fell favorably. It's not been half the moons of pain. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
You look like you need a rest. It's not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone mm. might see. You see petrification it's always on been him. this bad. Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. Yeah. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Hmm. Can we just murderize all of them? <clears throat> Cause a huge commotion? Would be nice. I would appreciate that. That's the day done then. What's up? If the right to confiscate any objects, you there! Fancy a drop of the friend. Empire's finest? Spices from the faraway deserts of Dalmechia. Fresh fish, all from the Sea of Grace this very morn. Spices from the faraway deserts of Dalmachia! Oh! <clears throat> All right, I gotta take a moment here. So, <clears throat> earlier in the past video, in the past video, I remember saying that Benedicta had like the, almost like an accent of like Fran, right? The Viera. And there was uh, there's other elements in here that kind of made me feel like not entirely, but Final Fantasy 12-ish, right? And now we just got a major Easter egg that the merchant is selling spices from the deserts of Dalmachia. I love 12. 12 is a great game. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Etienne sent me. Didn't know he had his own bearer. Business must be booming. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. She must be the distiller. That is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink? Not just any drink, the very best. Especially distilled from our most discerning customers. Hmm. The guards find that, they'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price, of course. Of course. A herbalist. I have no business with Brandon. Oh, I noticed! Well, I have business with you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. I do not know you. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. I don't like it here. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false... Don't worry, you will have to... always take it back. Yeah. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your insolent tongue. How about I cut your head, head off? If you tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in chains. Ha! Payment. Take it and get out of my sight. I dare you to try. Cigars. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. 
You're lucky I can't swing my sword here. I'm trying. I'm trying to swing my sword. The fruit's not getting any fresher. You say these are all from Dalmechia? A tinker. There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. I have a delivery from Etienne. Fresh from the master's table. Why didn't you say so? <laughs> oh, fuck off! <laughs> Times are hard. <coughs> so it'll make them less so. For a while, at least. Sorry about the welcome. I meant nothing by it. You wait right here. Um, yeah, you did You did mean something by it. Because then you would have not said anything like that. You'll be like, oh, welcome. What, the, what are you buying? Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Perfume. Oriflam's finest. Just as promised. Perfume, cigars, and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. Mm -hmm. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. That's the day yeah, let's go turn it in. And then we'll do the one we're looking for the girl. Well then, I suppose you'll need a little something to remember me by. I know that that's the main quest. Ah, you have returned. <coughs> we gotta go help the bears. I believe these are yours. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just tell me in the first place? An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Despite the risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. Mm -hmm. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. <sighs> Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you believe is necessary. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Sure. There must be a lot of me. I ain't seen see going on around here. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What do you want? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, 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 you know what? <clears throat> I think this is a good part, a uh, good time to stop this one. And we shall continue in North Reach. Wait, that's what the place is called, right? North Reach! In the next one. I'm gonna start changing my uh, outro too. I'm gonna say a word from a, a local word that means, like, you know, I'll see you later. Sweat up! Hello? Who is this? It's fucking weird.